We called ourselves the Fabulous Five by the time we reached our O-levels. We lived in the same neighborhood. We went to the same Montessori and went on to the same school. And what was most precious for all of us, though unsaid, were our memories of troubles and triumphs shared. Shehriar was a bookworm. He was courting Charles Dickens at 12 and had mastered Khalil Gibran at 13. At 14, he was dropping names we never heard of before or since. At 15, he stopped bothering us. Maha was a girl and even looked like one, but she sure didn't talk like one. From the time she tried to swap her Barbie doll for my Lego set in class three, she had destined herself for the engineering profession. Alina was a born artist. Her favorite trick was to draw you in pencil in a minute while you thought she was just doodling. And then there was Fassel. He was the naughtiest of us all as a child. But his energy got channelized when he grew up. He became the rashest driver in Lahore. He loved the nickname Maha gave him, Fassel Schumacher. And sure enough, he loved to talk about car racing. Me? I'm Arslan. I'm not special in any way. I'm a good student, but not the best. I could do anything, I suppose. But I'm not sure what I want to do. I split off from the Fabulous Five just when life was getting interesting, in our O-levels year, because my father was posted to Kuwait on a deputation from his parent department. I tried to keep in touch, but life sort of got hectic. So I had heard all the news, but I wasn't in close communication with the others when we came back to Pakistan after I had done my A-levels. Landing in Lahore, the biggest challenge was to find a good college. I just couldn't make up my mind. My first problem was to decide what I wanted to do with my life. But more important, I wanted to have fun during my college years. I had heard that all four of my buddies had gone into one school or another of the